All right, so uh, welcome back to, to part two of this walkthrough, uh, Death Stranding walkthrough. I am Cara Auditore, and uh, the last time we left Sam, he basically took shelter in that, uh, in that cave uh, where he met this girl, Fragile, and, uh, and there was an interesting exchange. So now, here are more cargo. There was more cargo that Sam needed to retrieve uh, in order to continue his journey. So, okay. Let's, uh, so let's continue. Let's see what, uh, what we have. So basically, I think, I think I have to head over, over there. I'm not pretty sure about it. Uh, there's not too many things. Well, it says like 100, 106 meters, 101, 5 meters, you know, like that's the only thing that I know right now. Oh, that is that's a great song. I love it. Okay, so that's the Cryptovio... Oh, Cryptoviolets to restore blood levels. Losing too much blood will cause your movements to be sluggish and make it hard to keep your balance. Oh, okay, so that's basically what they do. They keep your blood levels high. Uh, so you are able to basically, you know, like keep your strength, survive, move, and all that. So, alright, I don't think I have a lot of things to do or a lot of places to keep your go. So I'll just try to continue over here. Alright, so I need to be... Like, if you press L2 on R2, you're able to, uh, to keep your balance. I love that song. I'm going to be using it for one of my videos for sure. Round out. Okay, right now I went all the way down. I'm gonna move towards there. That seems like the only possible Okay, I'll, I'll, okay, so I cannot access there, but I think I need to go there. So I'm gonna try to cross the river. Oh, wow! 
Okay, I'm gonna try to cross the river. Scrap the packages. Rest of your abilities. Alright, you can see the stamp with the blue. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What is gonna happen if I go there? Okay, nothing happened. I, I think I'm okay, nothing happened. But I, yeah, I need to wait and to give Sam a little bit of time so he recovers. Oh, there's some cargo over there. Let's grab it. I can see some missed cargo here, so I'm just gonna grab it with my hand and just put it. Alright, uh, I'm getting to my weight limit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Beginning scan. Cargo verified. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, yeah, when it's very heavy, when the cargo is really heavy, you just need to press both the L uh, button and the uh, R, the, the L1 and the R, uh, no, the L, I'm sorry, the L2 and the R2 buttons to basically keep it steady in your bag. Okay, it seems I'm entering the base. But you need to be really careful with how much cargo you carry on your bag. Alright, so I'm, yeah, so I'm right here. Press square to activate the terminal. Alright, Central Knot City Delivery Terminal. Deliver request cargo, make deliver, so it's just terminal options. I, I guess I just have one option that I can take, make delivery. Deliver requested cargo and cargo dropped by others, or delivered requested cargo. So those are the two options, but I can only You may go. select partial delivery to submit required cargo currently in your possession and return with the remainder when convenient. Once the cargo submitted meets or exceeds requirements, you may designate the order complete at any time. Okay, make it a partial delivery. Uh, when delivering cargo for an order requiring a specific number or amount of items, you will be given the following options. Complete order, hand over any required items currently being carried and consider the order to have been completed. Or partial delivery, which is hand over any required items currently being carried, then go back to acquire more. Right, yeah, I think this is going to be a partial delivery. Wait. Uh, so these are these are the uh, these are the lost cargo. Lost so one, two, three. So I guess I'm I'm missing two. So I'm gonna make a partial delivery there. I'm gonna make a partial delivery here, and I'm going to. So I'm just gonna do that. All right. So I'm just going to confirm. Deliver the cargo. Oh, look, a trophy. Good Samaritan. Delivering cargo. What took you so long? It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike and some cargo. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. You're running behind, but... The cargo is still alright. Good work. See you next time. Who was this girl? Alright, so let's see the results. 
here, uh, number three out of four, number four out of, out of four on deliver, delivery complete, 26 likes, one quantity or more, 36 likes, average cargo, damage, 0%, additional likes, so that's pretty much distance, distance traveled, 1246.3 meters, total del delivered bonus. Bonus is 6, 71.0 kilograms, that's 2 likes, and an earned a second trophy. Likes from recipient, 94. Alright, so let's continue. There's kind of like a like system in this game, I can see. For every drop that you make, you get some likes in the lost cargo. So 0% that gives you 20 likes, 16 2 likes, lost cargo tools 42, and likes from recipient 220. Likes earned for completing the order plus 126. I hope this like system is explained later because it's not 100% clear to me at this point. So that's the overall rating over there, Car Auditor Reporter grade number 5, well 005, overall rating, career statistics, total playtime, 33 minutes, uh, weight of cargo delivered, so I have like different statistics there, it's just for informative purposes I guess, because I cannot do anything in the screen other than click next, so that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. So I have a special commission now. Bridges corpse disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. So that's why he doesn't shake hands or anything. He has some sort of phobia. Come and take a look. He's got a date with the incinerator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact TOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerators to the north. This route's crawling with BTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. And put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam? 
Just Sam. And I can't spot VTs. Just sense them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. The introduction of the you famous feel like shit babies. every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. It freaks me out too. Roll out. So they were talking about this guy committing a suicide, not doing the one thing, so not doing the So if he died, now he's going to take him um, to be incinerated. Well, the world was different when I was a kid. You can move the America camera. is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well pleased. No need for couriers like yourself. We had highways, airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. Imagine it now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the timefall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Son of a bitch. Rainbow! How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're gonna have to cut to the BTs. Now the monsters that we saw earlier, they are referred to here as BTs. Not sure at this point what BTs stand for. But I guess that they are not really that far away from finding out. We suffered that we just suffered an accident and shit is about to hit the fan. I'm guessing. Oh my god, I am laying down on the floor. I was so unconscious for a while I guess 
And now I have a bloody leg. I have bloody leg. This can't be good. There's the car. There's that other guy that was riding alongside me. And we need to find the body. We need to find the body that we were about to... Uh... Oh, there's the body that we were transporting. So that's the cargo. I need to get something on his face. Is that... Is that gold? Oh my god, yeah, the guy is getting, he's getting all the rain on top of him, so that's why he's getting so old. Oh my god, what the hell is that? That a ghost? Well I mean that I mean that one is one of those BTs. But they really don't have to move at all, not even making a sound, not even breathe. That's how they are afraid. That's how that's how afraid they are of those things. And this guy is freaking out. He's He's talking. Oh my god, he's getting taken away. Look at those hands coming out of the body. What is this guy going to do? They don't even have to breathe and he's going to shoot. He's going to fire a bullet. Sorry. He's dead meat. Oh, he killed him. Oh, he got him. Yeah, I think that's the merciful thing to do. What? Who is this? going to shoot himself but he was not able to
Where the hell is this guy? There's the baby. What's what's with that mark on his stomach? Looks like a C-section. Like a C-section of sorts. So we have Sam Porter, butt naked, in some sort of beach. With dead animals, lots of dead animals and dead fish. And with one, two, three, four, what appears to be five human shapes, human figures, or humanoid figures in the air that just disappeared. And that was. And that is the main intro. Now we have just jumped from the prologue, from the prologue and into the game. Yeah, Sam really needs to watch his step. That really escalated quickly. I mean, he went from shore into deep sea level. Plenty of bodies, the ocean. What the hell, guys? What the hell is this? So it's a scan. Repatriation. He can return to life from the place known as the seam when killed. The seam followed the strand to guide some his body to bring him back. Alright, so I need to basically I need to move, I guess. Uh, okay, so alright, so I think I need to go there. a baby inside his mouth or something? Alright, some of the main characters have been introduced. Now we saw the character played by Mats Mikkelsen. <laughs> that was disgusting. He even had those bugs coming out of his mouth. And a black BB. Just that black liquid. It's kind of water, but not really. It's watery for sure. And you can see the tears in his eyes. Again, tearing. 
Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. Okay, I think I filmed enough, so I'm just going to stop right here. Yes. Alright, so I'm just going to stop right here. And I will continue on part 3 of this uh, game through. Stay tuned for more content.